Hi, hi everybody, how are we doing today? I said I'd be back later in the week and here I am. And I know that Sam's already vlogged today, so you're getting two vlogs for the price of one. <laughs> but I wanted to come on, um, just to update you on how I'm doing. Malevolence is so nearly finished that I can't stop talking about it. <laughs> Uh, for the NaNoWriMo, um, you know how it's like a, a 50,000 word goal throughout the whole month of November from the 1st to the end, uh, you have to try and write 50,000 words. Well, I've written so much more than that, but I'm using NaNoWriMo presently to finish the novel and my current count is uh, just over 20,000. I haven't updated the site yet, I think it says 18,500 or something like that, but there's more words there and I've broke through the 20k, so it's looking good for my level and it's been finished very soon. And it's getting really, really exciting because I, I wrote um, two chapters yesterday where a lot of things happened and a lot of the story started to come together. Um, and, and sitting there writing it, I was excited writing it and I'm hoping that anybody that reads it will, will be able to feel that excitement and, you know, understand what's going on and that I haven't waffled over too much. <laughs> But yeah, it's getting so close to the end, it's, it's it's actually terrifying. I mean, I know I have got a crap load of editing to do, um, but the actual finishing of this story is is quite a landmark for me because anything that I've written up till now, is, it's been relatively short. I mean, The Scientist Daughter was only 85 pages long or something. I can't even remember how many words. Um, but nothing near what malevolence currently stands at. Um, I, I can't remember how much... It was, but it must be at least over the 80k just now. Um, there's a lot of reading in it, there's a lot of information, there's there's so much happening in it and I want to tell you that I can't tell you because I want you to buy it. <laughs> um, I got, there's, today I got an email. Uh, th th there's a girl that I met on Twitter so long ago, it's scary. And um, she started following the vlog, so a big shout out to Ollie, how you doing mate? Um, it's, it was it was so good to see the Lee email saying Oriana is now following you and I'm like yay this, hello <laughs> and you know she, she was saying that she thinks that yeah that, yeah, that this is going to go somewhere and ah, that kind of makes me feel all kinds of warm <laughs> and the thing is like, Ollie hasn't actually read any of Malevolence I think she might have read a wee bit of The Scientist's Daughter. Um, so she knows basically what my writing style is, although my writing is better than what it was when I when you know when I wrote Scientist. Um, so it's, it's nice to hear from someone um, <laughs> as well known as Ollie is. <laughs> And well read as Ollie, because she's she's a very educated person. Um, to say something like that is, yeah, I'm, I'm quite taken aback and I'm quite happy. And it kind of boosts your confidence, doesn't it? And then, of course, um, there's, there's I've actually sold another couple of copies of my first like mini book, um, The Scientist's Daughter, and that's also been a bit of a, a confidence booster. Um, one of my friends, uh, she bought it just the other night. I think I mentioned that in the last video, I'm not sure. But she bought it the other night and she says she's halfway through it and it's creeped her out so much that she's actually stopped reading it. <laughs> and she's going to have to watch where she, you know, where she reads this book because the where she was reading it is quite a freaky place to begin with anyway. And she was reading a freaky book in a freaky place. So she managed to freak herself right out. And that's quite good because it means that my words are working. And I'm quite chuffed with that. And of course, she's actually says to another couple of people, you know, you should read this. And so, yeah, I've sold another, another I don't know how many copies, actually. It's, it's I mean, that's good. It's, it's, it's nice that Malevolence, although it's not finished yet and it's not out there, is having an effect on my previous book. And its sales are starting to come up. And now I'm thinking to myself, you know, if Malevolence is having this effect on the scientist's daughter, what could the scientist's daughter also have an effect on Malevolence now that people are starting to buy it? And it's like, oh my God! <laughs> and Wally actually as well said um, to talk about actually getting it published properly. Um, because I'm sure I've said a few times on many of the vlogs that I was going to go down the self-publishing route as I did with The Scientist's Daughter. And Sam had says, oh, you should try publishing this for real. Um, not that self-publishing isn't really published, because it is actually published. But there seems to be some kind of 
magical thing attached to actually having a book. Um, so I'm thinking that way again, just because it's getting to the end and I know how much work I've put into it. And seeing it evolving and seeing it changing and seeing my writing change and the things like that makes me think there is a possibility. And if that possibility wasn't to ride out and it would you know, and no liter literary agent took it on, then I could always self publish it anyway, couldn't I? Um but I don't know. It's that's something I'll have to decide on. Um the, th the thing is, Malevolence was such a long time in the making. That's I think that's a problem. It was a story, like I've told you before, that I wrote a long time ago and then put it to the side and never bothered with it again. Uh, it's been changed so many times, it's virtually unrecognisable from the original draft. Um, but so much the better for it, I might add. Um, and I think, in a way, I would love to get it published as a book. I mean, that would be fabulous, wouldn't it? That That's the big thing to get done, isn't it? Um, you say, I am a published author, my book is in the stores. That would be amazing. But at the same time, it's taken so long to get malevolence to this point. It's like, if I put it up as self-publishing, it's out there immediately. So I don't know what line I'm going to take, um, but we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, there's people asking me. I mean, there's there's people that's actually read the first draft of Malevolence, not the entire thing because it's still in the writing, um, but the first um, up to possibly chapter ten, maybe a little further. One of them I think has read further than that, and everything that I'm getting, the feedback that I'm getting back is quite positive, and I don't want to set myself up for a fall, but then I've always been that way. I've always been quite. I've never been very confident in the way I draw, in the way I paint, in the way I write, anything like that. But when so many people are reading your things and saying, when, when are you going to finish it? When's the next chapter? What happens? What happens to her? What happens to him? You know, and they start querying it and then they turn around and they say, I really love that character. I really like the way this is going. And you think to yourself, God, maybe this is actually not too bad at all. So I'm getting to the stage where my confidence is rising a bit, but I really don't want to become too confident because then I'm just going to bomb in there. I mean, that's the thing. I'm going to bomb. I'm going to lie there and go, my God, my life is a waste. Although my life isn't a waste, but you know what I mean? Your, your confidence goes down, then bad things happen, doesn't it? You, you're not very productive and all the rest of it. So I'm scared to get excited for other people reading it and I'm scared to become too confident with it. But at the sale same time, I can't wait to get it out there and I can't wait for people to read it and, and let me know what they think. So, yeah, I'm kind of... in Funny ways, you know, I, I mean, the other thing, I'm having these awful bloody nightmares recently. I'm waking up in the middle of the night screaming. My husband, he's hitting my shoulder saying, wake the hell up, it's just a nightmare. And and I'm fine. I'm thinking to myself, what the hell's causing this? Is it is it thinking about putting this out there and folk hating it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. But at the same time, I'm using the nightmares, the experience of the nightmares when I'm adding it. <laughs> I'm adding them into the story. <laughs> not all the night, not the nightmare is, night, bleh, not the nightmares as a whole, but the, the feeling of it and things like that. They're quite intense, so use it in your story because the actual story is an intense story. So yeah, that's where I stand just now. Um, I plan to go down and write the rest of the chapter that I'm currently wo currently working on. I'm planning, hoping, to get at least up to 30,000 for NaNoWriMo, NaNoWriMo, whatever the hell it is, um, by the end of the weekend, if I get the chance. It's been so busy lately, that's, that's the only problem. I've done so much writing that I took today um, to do normal things, like life things, you know, and I was out and different things, and, and, and all I kept thinking was, you should be at home writing, you should be at home writing, you should be at home writing. <laughs> so I'm going to spend the rest of the evening hopefully writing, although I do, I do have a glass of wine, so I'm not sure how productive I'll be, um, but definitely tomorrow and Sunday I'll be writing and hoping to reach the 30,000 words, and if I reach the 30,000 words for the NaNoWriMo thing, then I should be possibly two chapters away for the end. Um, of course, NaNoWriMo is a 50,000 word goal, but I've written so much more than that. 
do you know what I mean? It's these final chapters that's going to take it up to that level. And if I finish it before the 50,000, I'm not going to be too bothered because it means that the book's complete. And that's my main goal is getting the book complete. And I'll just spend the rest of the month editing. Um, I'd really like to hear your feedback, folks. Um, it seems to be that recently we've been getting a lot of followers uh, but we don't get any feedback and things like that. There have been one or two comments, which is lovely to hear, and I appreciate every single one of them, and I know that Sam does. Um, but, you know, drop us a line, ask us a question, anything at all. Um, like, again, I'm going to... I'm going, to, I'm going to throw my book out there again. If you'd like The Science's Daughter, the links are on my site. You're going to have a wee look at it if you want. It's amazing that that book has actually been published, um, oh, I think it's three years now, or two or three years. And uh, there's been so much action on it just in the last couple of weeks. It's like, what's going on? Like, you know, <laughs> is it the talk of malevolence that's making the sales go up? I don't know, but it's, it's, it's an exciting time. Put it that way, it's a very exciting time. Um, and I'm and I'm glad for anybody that's still following our journey. Um, I know we waffle on a lot, and there's a lot of oh my god, I can't do it, and you're like, I fucking go on with it, <laughs> and we're trying to get on with it, and we're so reaching the end, and I hope you carry on all the way through and see us get into our goal, and hopefully helping us get to our goal. Um, go out there, buy the books, spread the word, link them out, whatever. I know Sam's powering on with hers. Hers shouldn't be too long in finishing because she can write a shitload of words in an hour. <laughs> so much faster than me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to call it that. This is, must be the longest video I think I've ever done. <laughs> so just forgive my waffling. Uh, but thanks for listening. And I'll probably not see you again to the start of the week unless something amazing happens, which is a possibility. You never know. But I'll leave it there and I'll speak to you soon. Have a good evening. And a great weekend. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.